I'm still young. He is still young. This was the most dangerous phrase I ever said to myself or I heard it from someone else. This is really a message from you to yourself from the future. Stop saying to yourself that I'm still young. Yes, we know that you're still young. For how long you will stay young? I have been in your place. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I have underestimated the power of time. I have underestimated a lot of chances in my life. Don't forget that time is passes so fast. You are young, you are 18. Eight years ago, you were 10. Do you remember that? So this is so important message from the future. Your future is calling you. What you are going to do right now is going to define who you will become in the future. It's very, very important to never underestimate the power of time. For sure, several times when someone giving you advice, he will tell you, yeah, you don't understand me. You are coming from another time. You, you already passed your life. You lived your life. They cannot see my vision. Oh my God, they cannot understand my feeling. Totally agree. I'm supporting you in that. They cannot see you. They cannot feel yourself. They cannot do anything for you. But you can do it for yourself by doing the next steps. First one, estimate your life span and your success. Tell yourself, when I would like to become what? You should have a plan. You shouldn't live your life and you're still living in the illusion that I'm still young because you are not young anymore. Grow up. You are a growing adult now. So you should have a plan for everything. You should understand your power and the power of time as well in your hand before it will slip from your hand and then you will realize the biggest mistake you did to yourself when you believed in that phrase, I'm still young, I still have time. This is a lie, this is an illusion. Wake up from this illusion. You are not young anymore, you are adult. Stop acting like eight years old child who's waiting for everyone around to give him something. Wake up, divide your plans into goals and go ahead for them. Be independent. Stop depend on someone else. Stop living under your mother, your father, your family's house. It doesn't mean that you should leave the house. No, it means that stop asking them to afford you a lot of things. You are adult. You are adult. Go find a job. Find a proper job for you. Find part time job while you are studying. But don't be foolish and you try to find something not useful for you or something you are going to lose a lot of time and energy without educating yourself find something will add you value will give you money and will make you independent person don't ask your mother your father please can you buy me this no i need it you are 20 years old or you are 18 years old or you are over than that you should start do something participate in a family expenses, feel the responsibilities. One day you will be a father. One day you will be responsible of a family. You should work for this family. You shouldn't wait for your mother to come to give you money or your father to give you money to afford your family a living. You should learn what does it mean responsibility. So be independent. Your education. You should have a plan of education. If you are already now learning something, focus on getting certified in this something. Yes, certificate doesn't make deal, but it's a proof of concept that you are a person that we can depend on. He will show up in work, he will do his work, he will stick to do his duty. That's the importance of education. A proof of concept that you are a worthy person that we can trust. You should choose your career. You should set a plan what you would like to become in the future. This is your career. This is your future. If you don't have a plan for your career right now, you'll have a failure future. You will be homeless, jobless. You will be nothing. So don't waste that. Back up education, decide a career and go ahead for them. In your track, you should also back up your friends. Who is going to be beside you when you go down? Who is going to support you when you feel frustrated? Who is going to stand behind you to push you forward? We accept our families as they are because we can't change them. We have born and we see them like this in front of our faces. So they are our families are part of us. But we can choose and back up our friends. Don't 
backup agreeable friend that he will tell you oh you are great you are doing good but in fact you are falling down choose a friend he will criticize you he will try to push you always forward he will not lie in your face when you do something wrong only to share the wealth or whatever you have for them when you choose a friend you should be pretty sure about your partner your life partner is very important person as well the person you will stick with for long time in your life try to choose a partner which in the same level of you don't choose a partner which has a different complexity in his life choose a partner which will help you to progress to advance your career to learn more to be a better version of yourself don't choose a partner with a complexity will take you down but if you choose a partner with a lot of problems and from your side you are going to sacrifice a lot you are going to spend a lot of time to hear this person and you are going to give everything you have for the other person and the other person cannot do that for you because of different circumstances so you are really destroying your future by your hand your partner has 50% minimum of your success because the other 50% is you. So be careful with choosing a partner. Choose a hobby in your life. You are not a machine, you are a living being. You should have some hobbies, some sport, you invest in sport, you invest in whatever kind of hobby you would like. Diverse your life, that will give it a taste, will give it a feeling that you are a living being. Don't stuck only with family, work, etc. and that's it. No, diverse your life, your activity to feel that you're still alive and you enjoy. Accept advices from older people. Understand that older people, they have nothing to gain from you. When they are giving you advices, they are giving you a life experience. These people already lived longer than you. They have been through a lot of different things. So when they are giving you advices, like be careful when you choose this partner, be careful when you do this step, be careful when you choose this education, be careful, take care, stuff like this. They are very, very valuable and very important. Seriously, advices from elder people are a golden advices don't underestimate the power of this advice take them into consideration because one of these advices if you didn't believe it if you didn't try to understand it really you are going to pay the same cost and it will be so expensive for you don't ruin your life by being ignorant and unacceptable of the other people advices Trust me, the most valuable advice is sometimes coming from a person who lived this life. So take advice, study them, understand the consequences of your decision and do it. But really, advices are very important to be accepted. Don't lie to yourself and tell them, okay, okay, I understand, they understand. But you already hiding your real intention and you are going forward with your plans without understanding the value of other people's advices. Don't underestimate the power of time. Don't lie to yourself and say, no problem, I'm still young, I have tomorrow. Don't lie to yourself by saying, okay, I'm going to invest in this relationship because I know this what will happen in the future. Don't lie to yourself with time. Value, study, make a plan and start work on this plan don't create obstacle for yourself don't get into trouble by underestimating the power of time time really tricky so don't leave it expecting that tomorrow it will be the same you are good you are getting older getting older getting weaker getting weaker a lot of things you can't do as you can do it now now you are full of energy you are full of time you are full of possibilities tomorrow you will not have the same chance so understand the power of time, work on that, and don't let time trick you. Don't let your health trick you. Don't say that, okay, today I can do that. Tomorrow I will do it also the same like now. No, you will never have the same chance as you have it right now. You will never have the same power as you have it right now. This is a physical, this is normal, this is life. We are going forward not going backward and every time you are going forward every time you start learn things you start lose time time is very valuable is irreversible resources so don't underestimate the power of time 
my advices which I have mentioned they are really coming from the future I have been in your place I know exactly what I'm talking about I have underestimated the power of time I have underestimated a lot of chances in my life in the same time I have learned a lot I have gained a lot of friends around me I love my friends I care about them I have got a lot of chances I use these chances I am who I am right now I'm giving you my advices look at me as I am your future and try to be better than who I am. Try to always be a better version of yourself. Choose what is best for you and do it. This is your future. You are the only person who is going to live the consequences of his decision. So please decide well, choose well, because some of these choices are irreversible and the consequences are too high for you to pay them i wish you all the best i hope that you can do it for yourself thank you so much for watching i hope that i was able to add a little bit value and i hope that i can make you having a better future ever thank you